Okay, today I'm going to make a quick tutorial on what I think is how to fix the problem with people not being able to join a game. Uh, I'm just going to answer a couple of people's questions that were on this forum on customcog.com where people were constantly asking how to do it because I want more people to host custom maps on um, Call of Duty World of War PC um, because, you know, custom zombie maps are awesome and I want more people hosting. So. Um, one question that was asked was, uh, how do I get onto my default? Uh, how do I get onto my router's homepage? I'm typing in the my what he thinks to be his default gateway, and it's not showing up. Um, to find out what your default gateway is, you type in ipconfig into your command prompt, hit enter, and it'll say down here default gateway 192.168.0.1 for me. Uh, yours will have, probably have a different address down here, but it will be something similar. So go into your internet browser and simply type it in. Enter and log on. Sometimes you will be asked for a username and password. The defaults usually are admin and the password's password. Or the username's admin, the password's admin, or there is no password, but the username is still admin. If you don't know, look up, look up in uh, Google, find out. Just type in your router's uh, name and then type in, uh, type in, I don't know, default login for that router. Um, okay, so that's how you get onto your router's homepage, anyway, people. Um, other people are having this problem finding port forwarding. That's really not hard. It's not always called port forwarding. For me, it's called services. For other people, it will be under security somewhere. Firewall rules, maybe. Firewall settings. Under that kind of stuff. Um, to find out, go to portforward.com. So, it's a handy site. And you click on routers, you select your router. You select your model, then you select what game you want to port forward on, and then it'll it'll bring up a bunch of screenshots showing you what to do. So it'll also show you, you know, where your port forwarding page is on your router. So that's one way to find it. So hopefully that answers people's questions on that. For port forwarding, the actual ports for World of War, the two main ones, in my opinion, are 3074 and 28960. Uh, other ports include 28970, 28930, uh, 20800, and 20810. Also, if you have XFire, then I recommend port forwarding the 25777 because that is XFire's port as far as I know. Port forward them all on TCP slash UDP. If you don't have that option in your router then port forward the port for TCP only and then port forward the same port again only for UDP and then that will be the equivalent to having TCP slash UDP. Um, so forward all those ports and that's one way that may fix it. Uh, other problems that people have uh, is that some routers have a firewall built into the router and um, so for that you'll look on security somewhere and find firewall rules, firewall settings, firewall something like that to get a access to your firewall page and usually you'll have something like inbound services and outbound services you're going to want to allow the two main ports for World of War which are um, if I edit this one, 3074, so you basically select your 3074, allow always, and um, put your local IP address in, which is also found in that IP config, it will show you your IP address, your local IP address. So that's my one, 0 0.3. The reason I've put 1 to 7 is that I have a dynamic IP and it will change between, usually between 1 uh, to 7. So I put I put 1 and finish 7. So that if it changes to 0 0.4, it'll still be, uh, outbound service will still be unblocked because it's doing 1 to 
a set. Uh, or I also should have put never log it. Uh, and do the same for port 28960. Then in inbound services, you'll also want to do the same thing, uh, which is basically inbound services is basically a bit different. You'll select your port, say this one 289, no, it's 28930. 28960 or 3074, you need to do it both, do it one for 28960 and do it again for 3074. Allow always, enter in here your send to LAN server, uh, you want to put your local IP address in, it is better if you have a static IP address because it will never change, so uh, if you have a dynamic IP you may have to change it every time your dynamic IP changes. So to find out your your local IP, like I said, it's it's in the command prompt, or you can go to your network, find out whichever adapter is providing you with internet. Mine's network bridge. For you, it'll probably be wireless network connection or local area connection, depending on whether you're using wireless or Ethernet. And then it will tell you your IP address here, and it'll, if it's assigned by DHCP, it's dynamic and it may change and if it's manually configured then um, it's static. So enter it in, so mine is 192.168.0.3 that's my one, yours will be different, so enter yours. Ignore the the, um, the one, the wide area network users, uh, you just put that on any and never log and apply already got it done so I don't need to do it but that's what you want to do for those two ports anyway if it still doesn't work um, I recommend doing every single one which will suck probably take a while but um, do every port um, other stuff uh, DNZ uh, where is it dynamic DNZ look for DNZ on your router and it'll probably be just a checkbox I'd s suggest taking in that box and apply, make sure that DNZ service is ticked. Obviously it'll look different for different routers, but you know, just search for DNZ and just make sure it's enabled. Um, also, I'm not sure if UPnP is that important, but make sure it's on anyway. Um, what else? Uh, da -da -da, NAT, if you have NAT um, anything about NAT type or whatever, make sure NAT is enabled, uh, NAT, and yeah that's basically all you can do in your router to fix the problem. Port forward, if your router has a firewall make sure inbound and outbound services for call, for the called World of War PC ports are, are you know, not being blocked, and um, make sure you're DNZ is ticked, UPnP is ticked, and NAT is ticked. Um, what else could you possibly do? Uh, right, yeah, another problem that you could have is your normal firewall, not your router firewall, but your general computer firewall could be blocking the program. Uh, sometimes your router firewall will be on your antivirus because some antiviruses do have router firewalls uh, not router firewalls, sorry some antiviruses have their own firewalls this is a free antivirus that I'm using and it does not have a firewall but some free antiviruses do have a firewall for example AVG has a firewall so you know open AVG and make sure that the firewall has a exceptions for um, Call of Duty World of War PC multiplayer and co-op. Um, Norton obviously has a firewall as well. That's a well, that's an antivirus you have to pay for. Um, also, if you don't have a router firewall, you will have Windows firewall enabled or used. Uh, so make sure go to exceptions and make sure Call of Duty World of War is ticked. I know I have a lot of Call of Duties in here, um, but you'll 
just make sure that you have one for World at War campaign slash co-op and make sure it's ticked and you have one for World at War multiplayer and make sure that's ticked um, if it's if it's not ticked make sure it's ticked if it doesn't show up then you need to add it so add program find Call of Duty World at War multiplayer click OK then add program again click on solo dash co-op click OK and then you'll have them added. Um, another thing you can do is add port and then name it whatever you want like you know, World of War port 1 something like that and port number port 3074 TCP OK do it again for UDP and click OK and then do add another port call it something else and make sure 28960 is also done so click OK then do it again for TCP click OK and then that's it done that's not really that necessary I just did it because I was really desperate and I was trying everything to get it to work so I did that I'm not sure if it helped but I mean you can if you want um, so anyway once that's done um, you've pretty much done everything I can think of that could help to fix that problem because it is a uh, yeah it's annoying when you can't host but try that uh, if you have any questions leave a comment or uh, yeah just leave a comment on your uh, leave your question and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible because um, no oh, by the way this is the devil don't use PF port checker <laughs> this thing is evil it, gives you a lot of bullshit information sometimes it's you know for example port 28960 I plainly forwarded it right you, you saw me port forwarding 28960 check me and for me it usually just says nah it's not, it's not forwarded <laughs> look it's not open it plainly is it's on my router it's forwarded so I wouldn't recommend, people do recommend to use PF port checker. Don't, it gives you a lot of false information. Why do I still have it on my computer? Go away. I don't like it. Right. So, anyway, I hope this sorts your problem out. Because uh, I really want more people hosting on World of War PC. There's not that many people who host. And, yeah, custom maps are amazing. I just want to find, a, I just want to search for a lobby and find 20 people all doing custom maps, it'd just be awesome. So I just hope we can get more people that will be hosting more games and I'm sorry that this tutorial took way longer than I expected, it was just quite a bit of stuff to cover so thanks for watching, rate, comment, subscribe and leave any more questions if you're having any more problems. I know it wasn't perfect because many people's, each router, each different make of router has it different home page which looks completely different to what I had. It happens. Every router is different so um yeah, you know, it will it will look strange and different on your router, but just try and look for similar stuff to what I was saying when firewall rules and services, port forwarding, that kind of stuff. So anyway, good luck. I hope you get your problem fixed because yeah, like I said, custom maps are awesome. So peace out.